in the mat. And the referee checks for dryness of skin. No metallic objects, either in the supporters or adornments of any sort. And then checks with the mat chairman and then the mat judge. And it's into the final of the under 85 kilo Olympic category in the Greco-Roman style. And both wrestlers locking in. Head to head, shoulder to shoulder, chest to chest. Now they've yet tangled, particularly with the arms, grabbing each other's wrists and then breaking away. Yerlikaya in the red. Reigning Olympic champion, world champion in 95. So four or five years ago, he was top of the world. Hasn't done quite so well since then. So has he lost his condition? Or will the younger, the 23-year-old junior world champion in 97 come through with youth, youth and vigor on his side? But let's see how it goes there. So from the, uh, the clinch there, looking for a break and a waist lock from the front was Yerlikaya. But nothing in it. One minute gone of the first of the two three-minute rounds. One minute of three, round one. Now the pace upping somewhat as Yerlikaya leans in. And there's going to be a passivity warning, and it's against Badosi. Badosi drops to the mat. That's the parterre position. That's French. Those of you who speak French, parterre on the ground. And there, Badosi manages to stand up from that one, but uh, then tries a, a switch through. There's the score. Turns Yelikaya over. And that's two points for Blue. That was a nice move. Well, there was the speed from the younger wrestler. He escaped from that uh, passivity uh, beneath position, ran to the edge of the mat, and then he did a brief, brief reversal, did a swing through, and got round behind Yelikaya and gained himself three points. So that puts him ahead early on, coming up to two minutes of the first round. So we can expect... So we can expect maybe some um, fast, sharp, unexpected techniques from the Hungarian. Here they are into the tie-up again, both looking to trap the other wrestler's arms, and the pace is hotting up a bit. Yelikaya of Turkey has got a pile of pressure on. He's got the prestige of Turkey behind him. The great wrestling nation of Turkey is there, willing him on. And, well, we get another passivity in a second, I feel. Not a lot to go, nearly at the end of the first round. Nine seconds to go. And it's Badosi of Hungary, three points in the lead in this Olympic final at the end of the first round. This will be an amazing result for the 23-year-old Hungarian if he can come through here. No real form in international competition other than the World Junior Championships three years ago. A Junior Championships is not the same as a Senior Championship. It's a different league. But he's looking comfortable. Tries to pull the Turk down and forward from the arm grab there. And it's going to be a passivity against Badosi. Not doing enough work. And Yelikaya says yes, let him go down. And a little brief stop there. The uh, Hungarian indicating to the referee that his, uh, one of his boots are loose, perhaps. And Yelikaya settles in and picks him up. This is a dangerous position here. And there's a high amplitude throw. No, not so high. The referee gives it three. So that levels up the score. So it's tied now. It's tied here in Sydney between Yelikaya of Turkey and Bardosi of Hungary. That was a powerful pick-up and throw from the Turk. Now, one minute and a half just over to go. 
And if the ties remain scored, it'll go into extra time. Certainly, the Hungarian does not want to go back into that uh, passivity position again. The Turk looks strong in the pickup, and I feel he could repeat that if that passivity position was repeated. Three to three, all tied up here in Sydney between these two. Coming up to the end of the second minute in the second round, one minute to go, just over one minute to go. And the referee calls them back to the centre, and the fight continues. The fight flows on. One minute remains in regulation. And Yelikaya attempting to get round behind the Hungarian. This will probably boil down to results off the passivity position. So the Hungarian has got to keep attacking. He's got to look active. So far, he seems to be on the receiving end. So it's pushing and constant grip work. Neither seem to be able to either snap the other down or turn them or get round the body or gain a good leverage on each other's arms. So it's 20 seconds to go and it looks like it'll go into overtime, into extra time for these two, unless a quick point can be gained in the dying seconds of this second round. Both fighters looking tired as they come up to the final seconds, and there it is. Three all, and it's into overtime. No rest between, except that uh, Bardosi's indicate. And into the last three minutes. It's the next point. It's a sudden death one here. The next point will decide who wins the gold. All to play for here, an Olympic gold at stake. Now, certainly, Bardosi cannot afford to go flat to the mat. Now, there's it gets behind. Yelikai almost gets behind. Bardosi hangs on that. No score there by the look of it. Yelikai almost got round behind the Hungarian there, but the Hungarian survived that one. Back to the centre. Sandor Barosi looking a wee bit tired at this point. Both wrestlers sweating profusely, and that makes... They choose. Marion, get a gut roll, a gut wrench. He's got to get his arms quickly round. He doesn't have a lot of time to... Stop opportunity there for the Hungarian. He's getting tired, and it shows. Now, at the end, if the scores are exactly even, then the judges and the Met chairman will tot up Everything that's happened in the match, the number of... And Yerlikaya gets... And the mat chairman will make of that. The mat chairman's coming up onto the mat with his piece of paper in which he records. Well, the mat chairman can't get up on the mat. 